Hey there, no nickname here. I'm actually just gonna continue directly after recording the um, third campaign mission and I'm gonna go ahead and get the fourth one done right now. So let's continue. Morgan catches up with Sahin in the jungles of Central America, but are the Ottomans too powerful to defeat? Let's see. Never thought I'd be setting my heels in the sands of the bleeding Americas. Keep the men together. We don't know what predators lurk in that jungle. Animal or human. And now this knight chases me all the way to the new world. He does not understand. We are not after the Lake of the Moon. We just want to keep it away from the circle. Sahin has beaten us here, but we'll worry about him later. We need to get our colony started. Build a town center. Fair enough. Let's build a town center. And let's build it right here. We can also get our villagers to work. Apparently, the Ottomans don't have quite as cruel intentions as Ottoman uh, as uh, Morgan Black thinks. Good. Send word to Molda. We can start sending shipments of supplies and reinforcements to continue building the colony. Oops. All right, go to the home city and send a shipment. And this is our home city. Let's see. Excellent work. Now that we have access to your home city, you will be able to send cards, which are units, improvements, or resources to the new world. Each time you receive a shipment, you can visit the home city and choose any of your available cards below. You must be in the correct age to send a card. Indeed. So right now we can ship two cards from our town center. Villagers and food. Now... This villager card is infinite, that means we can send it as many times as we want. Then can be said about this card of 300 food. And before we do anything else, let's get villagers to work and start creating them. So... I guess sending food is the most useful because... Well, I mean... Two settlers only cost 200 food. So let's go ahead and ship food, actually. So shipping the settlers will allow us to get settlers faster. So uh, maybe I'll send that later. Let's kill that. <laughs> That wasn't exactly an even fight. Good work. We should yes. ally with the natives in the area. All right. Our next objective: find an ally with at least two local natives. Here's one. That is the. Carib settlement. Let's go ahead and age up to mm, 400 wood. This nice. So to ally with them, um, we have to construct a trading post at their tribe. Morgan Black can do that, so let's use him to do it. And let's also. Put a few villagers on coin. I'm sure there are more natives around. We should make sure we scout the entire area. Yeah, there are more natives around here somewhere. Let's scout over here. I'm just gonna save my shipment for the second age. Those shipments are a bit better. 
So here is a Mayan settlement. We're gonna get that as soon as we can afford it. From this training post we can also make Carib Blowgunners, who are good against infantry. Let's actually make a market to get economic upgrades. So we have nearly age up, aged up. And that's us up in the second age. Now we can ship more shipments. Like these two. And we can also make a trading post. I'm gonna get the wood upgrade for faster wood gathering. And also the other upgrades. That allow us to gather food and gold faster. Now we can hunt for Sahin and the Turks. Yes, we can. Let's make some blow gunners. And we can actually also make medicine men from this trading post here. They can heal our units. So let's put our anti cavalry in one control group. And our ranged infantry in another. New villagers can go to food. And these cost 75 food and 25 wood, so that's. Actually, I don't know what their stats are, so I'm not sure how cost effective they are compared to pikemen. But now we have a decent army. We can get some treasures as well. For example, this one. I'm gonna make a barracks for military production. We have a new shipment. Let's see. Upgrades at a native. American tribes cost no coin. That can actually be useful. Because we have already two um, places to get them. Here and here. We need more wood though. Can actually get the second upgrade for wood at the market. And now that we have a hundred wood, let's make a house. Just gonna get that villager upgrade as well. I have some free food, so why not? Let's scout a bit over here. Sir, we spotted the Turks fishing operation. Ah, mission. Destroying their fishing dock should make them hungry. Secondary objective: destroy the Ottoman fishing dock. This building here. Let's do that. I'm gonna use my special attack on this um, galley, which is a unique, unique Ottoman ship. And I'm gonna go ahead and attack that. Let's also bring our units over here, actually. And we'll make some pikemen as well. I'm gonna get this upgrade too, as soon as I can afford it. Which lets us gather food even faster. Yes, Kill the random native there. <laughs> Let's see. Here's some food. But this looks safer. Alright, 
Now that's that dead. We got 500 experience, which also let us get several more shipments. So I'm just gonna ship two of those actually. And now that we can afford these without coin, we'll get some of them. Carib ambush party allows your explorer to quickly train a small ambush party of blog and warriors. So that will actually let Morgan Black. Uh, where is he? Oh, there. And yeah, that will let him train Carib ambushers. That's quite nice. So we are under attack by natives and Ottomans. Let's get our hand infantry out of there. And oops. Let's get some more wood so we can get a... Actually we have 200 wood now, so let's make a stable. And some red arrows. And I'm also going to put a couple of more villagers on food. And I'm going to buy some wood to get the hunting upgrade. Some more villagers can go on coin now actually. Um, yeah, I can gather that. Yeah, we need population. Let's make houses. And now we can make hussars. I'm going to actually not make those now. Because I want to get to the third age quite quickly. So I think our army is big enough for now, so let's actually just go ahead and only make villagers until we can afford to get to the third age. With the exception of one dock, which we can train fishing boats from. Is there anything else over here? No, it doesn't look like there is. What does this do? Oh, the strict mine calendar lets villagers get their food from hunting and farming faster. That's nice. And a random eagle warrior there. Let's send Morgan Black to deal with him. And also get the hunting upgrade there. No, sorry, the coin upgrade. So there's our home city water flag, let's move that. I can't actually ship any ships from my home city yet though. Oh, that's actually a bit, quite a bit of units, so let's go ahead and bring our whole army. And we need more villagers gathering coin. These Abyss guns are very good against infantry, so we have to deal with them quickly. Alright. So now we can afford to age up. We're gonna go with the Carvel and Corps of 400 wood. And this increases infantry ha oh, hand infantry hit points by 20%. Nice. What other things do we have here? Archers do more damage to villagers. Nice. 
Archer or hand infantry attack increased. That's very useful. So now we can make a Husser. And we need more food for that, so let's put more villagers on food. And let's also create several fishing boats. And we can actually make canoes too, but I don't need that. Alright, so it looks like we have control of the entire water now. I'm actually going to make a second dock. And here we are under attack again. Let's deal with that. Alright, that's dealt with. Let's explore some more down here. Actually, what's our objective? Alright, find and destroy the Ottoman command post and town center. And no secondary objectives. And here's actually a native trading post. If we destroy this, then the Ottomans won't be able to use natives anymore. So I'm going to make that my priority right now. Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we can train ambushers. Alright. I've got to have to gather this food now. And actually we are kind of under attack there too. I think the training post should be able to hold on until we can get some units over there though. And our caravel can actually also gather food. Here's a bit of units. Let's kill those and... Now that this trading post is destroyed, we can build it ourselves. Alright. So we have some crossbowmen coming over to deal with this. We are in the third age now, so we can ship uh, both of these cards, a covered wagon and a falconet, and hopefully then let's not lose a lot of villagers here. send a couple of hussars to deal with that. Now we can also train lancers, which are very good against infantry. And more crossbowmen. And the next wood upgrade is also nice. Alright, so that's a second town center. We can build that um, here, I guess. Next to the coin and fruit, and also some wood. Alright, so here we can train several types of units. Eagle warriors, jaguar warriors, and also medicine men. Heroes have more hit points and attack. That's nice. Villagers gather food from farms and mills faster, and boats gather from fish and whales faster. Also nice. One crate of a coin per two minutes of game length. Okay. That's actually very useful. 
Let's actually wait a bit with that though. So now we have a cannon. Let's get that down here. And actually all of our units down there. I'm actually just gonna block off this path here with houses. So units don't start attacking me. We can also make some units from our uh, trading posts here. Let's see. Some more blowgunners. That sort of Abyx Abyss guns. Lancers and Hussars should deal with it quite nicely though. Mm. More of those. Let's get the upgrade for them and... Let's also put some villagers on this whale here. So we can get a coin from that. So let's just go ahead and attack. We can attack that outpost, which actually has a lot of hit points. This does make more ambushers. That upgrade is actually very useful. And that outpost just won't die. So I think our cannon is best put to use attacking this stuff instead. So we have to destroy this building. And this building. That shouldn't be too hard. So let's actually try and just kill them right away. Some more villagers. Why not? Yeah. Our cannon is actually losing a lot of hit points, but I think we should be able to um, kill this outpost. It should be fine. Oops, alright. Ah, this will be close. 10 hit points. <laughs> So now let's kill the town leader now that the command post is dead. Oh, our kind of died. Oh well. Should be able to clean this up anyway. I think we should. That should be fine. Alright, 
it, so we beat that mission as well, quite quickly. Um, as you play through the Age of Empires 3 campaign, you will receive experience for almost everything you do. At the top of the home city screen, you will see how much experience you can need to earn for a new level of your ho for your home city. When you earn a level, you will be able to visit this window between scenarios and pick a new home city card from one of the buildings. Indeed, we can. So we are now in level 5, which allows us to pick 4 more cards to ship from our home city. There are 3, bu three buildings in this home city. New World Trading Company, the Knight's Garrison, and the Grand Magistry. Here we can get economic upgrades, no, uh, shipments, and also some ships. This is the military uh, building, and here are some building related shipments. So, I'm going to get the four settlers at least. That's a very nice card and two cannons, that's very useful. What's here? Unique improvements for a civilization. Hmm. Should get that eventually at least. Two mortars in H3, that's actually very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And finally Let's ship, let's take, hmm, yeah, I guess a troll there resist, okay. So, we can also actually customize our home city, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Let's unlock the royal couch there. Torchy, who throws torch and fireworks. A juggler, and I guess we can get a vendor cart as well. So now these people will walk around the town center, the uh, home city, I mean, and perform various things, which isn't really useful, but it's kind of cool to watch. All right, so that was the fourth mission. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.